Hello everybody, this is uh, Joe from Venus Periore, continuing our Merlot experiment. What I wanted to show you guys today is this. Uh, we are finishing our um, MLF actually. We inoculated the 30th of April, it was currently the 10th of June, it was pretty warm in my basement. Uh, and we're noticing the ends of malolactic fermentation. What we have here is, I'm in the process of racking um, the wine uh, off of the very finely that you can find on the bottom of this carboy here. Um, but what one thing I noticed, and this is what I kind of want to show you, not so much the racking, but I wanted to show you a, a quick trick on how to actually blow off H2S gas. So I did notice some, uh, some H2S gas form after fermentation. It's very, very subtle. It's definitely not in the body of the wine, um, but I want to kind of blow it off. The, one of my tricks is this. I, as you can see, I'm racking off into a corny keg. And so the great thing about a corny keg is, obviously you can sterilize it, it's stainless steel. Um, and this actually corny keg is from uh, Keystone Homebrew, as you can see, the sandy keg system. Um, but one of the really nice things is, and I'm wondering if you can actually see it, probably not, but you see that pipe, but you can see it. You see that pipe actually going down into the uh, wine. That's usually where you draft off of a beer of some type. Well, in this particular case, I hooked up my argon gas tank to the inlet there. So essentially that's what you see here. And we're gonna pump argon as this is racking uh, into the bottom of this wine as it's actually racking. Let me see if I can pull it out a little bit just to kind of show you. Uh, yeah, it's tough still, but I'm gonna actually pump argon through the bottom of it, kind of bubble it out. And I have this hose, as you can see, if you follow it back, hooked up to my argon gas tank, which I'm actually gonna turn on right now. You don't need a whole lot of pressure, to be honest with you. Um, and then if we flop back here real quick, I will connect, and you'll see it start to bubble, which is perfect. So this is a fantastic technique to blow off H2S if you guys ever want to try it. You can see the wine bubbling down there uh, from the inlet and the influx of argon gas. The nice thing about argon gas in this particular case is that it's not oxygen. You're just placing uh, any volatiles inside solution, and you're actually not oxidating the wine in any way. So it's pretty safe overall. I can smell a very faint uh, aroma of H2S. It's incredibly faint, but it's still there nonetheless. These grapes are, are very high in sugar, and I may have used a little bit less nutrient than maybe I should have. Uh, but once again, this is a very easy fix. You can kind of see the, the wine actually bubbling quite a bit there as I'm racking. And one thing to notice too is you can see how clear this clear and dark this Merlot is. And the great thing about this part of the process is then, of course, you get to take a sample um, of the Merlot. And of course, you have to taste them. It would be absolute sin if you didn't taste them. So uh, once again, this is that the racking portion after MLF is done and we are blowing off a little bit of H2S. After this, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to sterilize the carboy back there and I'm going to then just rack and return. Put it to bed on an oak spiral. I don't know if you can see it yet, but there is an oak spiral in there. Uh, and we're going to put it to bed for a while. Um, add some sulfite, get it up to about 50 parts per million, maybe a little bit less, 35 parts per million. Too much sulfite will actually cause uh, some bitterness in the wine over time. But at this point, it's not bad because you're actually um, you're actually have been exposed for a little bit and haven't seen sulfite. So I'll add about 50 parts per million, get the active up a little bit to right around 35, and then put it to bed for a while. Okay? See you on the flip side.